So there's been a rumor floating around that Sony was about to announce the closure of the PlayStation stores for PS3, PSP, and Vita recently. I waited to talk about it in a video because I wanted to see if we got official confirmation from Sony, which we just got earlier today. Yes, today Sony confirmed the closure of these stores. You will no longer be able to purchase any of the digital goods from them. Oh, this big digital future, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? To read a bit from this announcement directly, Sony said, quote, We are closing PlayStation TM Store on PlayStation 3 consoles on the 2nd of July 2021 and on the PlayStation Vita devices on the 27th of August 2021. Additionally, the remaining purchase functionality for PSP PlayStation Portable will also retire on the 2nd of July, 2021. Then they go on to talk a little bit more in depth about what you can and can't do after these dates. Features you will be able to access. You will still be able to re-download and play previously purchased game titles. You will still be able to access previously purchased video slash media content. You will still be able to redeem game and PlayStation Plus vouchers. You will still be able to re-download and play claimed game titles through PlayStation Plus, as long as you remain a member of the service. Features you will lose access to. You will no longer be able to purchase PS3, PS Vita, or PSP digital content, including games and video content. You will no longer be able to make in-game purchases through games on PS3, PS Vita, and PSP. You will no longer be able to redeem PSN wallet fund vouchers, example gift cards, on PS3, PlayStation Vita, or PSP devices once the PlayStation Store and purchase functionality for these devices close. Your PSN wallet funds will remain in your PSN account, but you will only be able to use your wallet funds to purchase PS4 and PS5 products. So for the most part, the big things, no new purchases on these systems, but you can still download and play the stuff you have previously purchased. Right off the bat, we'll see how long that actually lasts. If you remember when Nintendo announced the closure of the Wii Shop, they also let you download purchases, but they listed a cutoff date. I assume something similar will happen to these digital stores, but Sony is gonna hold off on it as it's probably much further off, years at least I'd hope. And this way they can get away more with this and right now as, you know, defenders will talk about how, you know, oh, you can still download the game so you're not losing them. But if they're choosing to cut you off from purchases, I think it makes sense to think they want to shut down those services entirely at some point. As many have said, I've seen like on Twitter and that, you know, they're going to leave all these stores up for you to fully engage with to download the games, right? You just can't buy new stuff, but you can still go on there onto your you know, purchased section and download the games from their servers. It's like if they really plan for you to be able to do that like forever, I mean, why are they shutting down your purchases so people can't buy more stuff from them so soon? Yeah, I totally think, again, hopefully they give it a couple years, but we'll be hearing uh, about the complete shutdown of these stores at some point in the future. As I've said in the past, this is one of the biggest reasons I'm a proponent of physical games. Obviously, I will still have all my physical games whenever these stores get completely shut down. As people have said, you know, it's like if the entire thing, the network gets shut down, you know, access to from these systems, like to be able to download DLC and updates, you know, you're going to lose access to that on your physical games as well. But, you know, I'd rather have something than nothing. I always say in regards to that. But keeping in mind with just what was announced today, I think the focus should be on access for people who haven't bought a lot of this stuff. You can no longer buy these games digitally, right? So anyone who hasn't done so already, you're not gonna be able to buy any of these games again on the PS3, PS Vita, or PSP after these dates. So if you're someone who does at some point in the future, want to buy games for these systems, you're going to need to buy the physical versions. I assume you will see a spike 
After this, in physical game prices for these systems, once these stores shut down, even when it's just like this, in terms of selling, oh yeah, you can still download your stuff, well, that doesn't help anybody who hasn't bought the games already. So people in that camp will have to buy a physical copy, which will make the prices go up. If nobody can buy any of these games digitally, the demand for physical versions is going to go way, way up. Which also makes those physical games that you may have bought on these systems a much better investment. Again, you're going to see those used prices rise as people seek these games out and, you know, they don't have the option to just go to the PlayStation Store anymore. So still, even if you're like, well, I already bought everything I want, so I don't really care about this until they stop letting me download the games. The person who bought the same games you bought digitally, but physically, is about to see their collection rise in value big time, where yours is basically still worthless. On the other hand, it does suck for someone who may start getting into these systems later, as, yeah, you're going to have to start paying a premium for these games soon, but that's the way it's worked for forever, uh, like with Nintendo games. Cycle's always been kind of like, you know, once a new system comes out, the last gen game values go down because, you know, everybody wants the new system. A lot of people are selling their last gen games so they can buy the new games. But once they become a bit more retro, more scarce, the values start going up again. And you'll see a similar effect here. Which also brings me to the point of sailing the high seas. This is why I believe ROMs, emulation, yes, the ability to pirate games is essential to preservation. I try to make this clear because it seems like people want to be either like for or against this stuff. And I think it's more nuanced than that. I personally don't like pirating anything that's like a current game, you know, something you can easily walk into a store and buy or get for like a fair price on Amazon. I do believe developers and publishers should get money for their product that they made. But I think people who are against this lose sight at instances like what we're talking about now as once these cutoffs happen they will now be refusing to sell you the products especially in the digital age they could easily keep those stores up but they're not and with these physical games like i said prices are going to go up and up and how much of that money when a game is sold on ebay or a secondhand shop does the publisher and dev see zero dollars and zero cents it all goes to the person selling it. So yeah, once we get to that point, I say sail those seas all night and day because these games shouldn't be like lost to time or out of reach because the collector value price is going up. Again, going back to Nintendo games, so many of those retro games, GameCube really rising lately, you know, you shouldn't have to pay like $200 to play the Fire Emblem games from Wii and GameCube once more $200 that Nintendo will not see a dime from. No, it's just ridiculous, which is also why I say to Nintendo, now these companies, you know, Sony, PlayStation, Xbox, you know, Microsoft is really doing the best job, obviously, at preservation, you know, backwards compatibility with, you know, allowing you to play the original Xbox 360 games with the actual discs right on, like, your Series X, the brand new console. I mean, that's just amazing. But... For these other companies that aren't, if you're not at least doing that, there should be more of an effort made to have some way where you can play these retro games on the current hardware, even if it is with like, you know, Nintendo Online putting the retro games on there, putting a lot more from a lot more systems, or, you know, having a virtual console deal where you can buy them from, but especially when, again, you're cutting people's access off from, you know, being able to buy the games on these other systems, like more of an effort should be made to at least make them playable on the current chat systems. And once more, as long as that's not going to happen, yeah, people should be just downloading the ROMs and stuff to experience these games because it's it's sad, it's not right in my opinion, that so many of these games, you know, people don't ever get exposed to in that because it's like, oh, it's just, you know, it had a low print run or something like that. There's no digital copy of it and that's it. So yeah, I hate it and expect to see more of this. Again, the Wii didn't happen that long ago. Now Sony's confirming these. This makes Microsoft's statement on backwards compatibility and, you know, their pushes for preservation that much bigger, that much more important as you see more of this. Like if 
Microsoft just keeps adding more Xbox One and Xbox 360 games that you can play on, you know, the current gen where everyone else is cutting off your access to these games. Yeah, it just makes them look that much better in this regard. But yeah, with that, this video is a wrap. Like I said, more of this is surely to come. I think you're just going to see a greater argument for owning physical versions of these games, as well as, I guess, justifiable pirating. Because again, once these companies refuse to sell you something, I think all bets are off. Let me know your thoughts on the closure of these digital PlayStation stores. Again, the PS3, PSP, and PS Vita in the comments. Were you thinking this is something we were going to see soon? Are you okay with this announcement as long as people can still download purchases? And do you also think that option will be time limited and be taken away down the line? As always, I'm the Shy Guy Johnny Zakari, and thanks for watching.